Thank you, The Hawk. It says, what up, D. Marie? And peace to Eric Bell. I think there's a huge populace that loves and wants the Oprah lifestyle within a marriage. Here's the kicker. That model of living isn't for everyone, and she herself is not married. Look, 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 look. Oh. Look, 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 look here. The hawk. This is exactly what's going on, right? We have women today, again, wanting to be those strong, independent boss chicks, even within the realms of a relationship, even a marriage, which is absolutely ridiculous. We have women out here today saying, you know, I'll make a good wife, even though I won't do shit for you. I'll make a good wife, <clears throat> but I got my own life to live within that marriage. That, that, that is such a contradiction. That is such a paradox, ladies. You cannot say that you'll make a good wife while neglecting your husband and your wifely duties. I'm sorry. You can't say that you want... Uh, what's a married couple that people just love? You can't say you want a Denzel and his wife marriage, right? Or, or, or Michelle and Barack marriage, but then you want to conduct yourself like Oprah. What? Oprah doesn't even have a husband. Yeah, but she she been dealing with Stedman off and on from when she feel like her. That doesn't happen in a steady, solid marriage, though. And y'all are saying that y'all want a steady, solid marriage, not situationships. Y'all not saying that. If that's what you want, then just say that. But to say that you're going to make somebody a great wife one day, when you're trying to pattern yourself after single people, after people who don't know what it's like to have to make those compromises and those adjustments for the sake of having a strong foundation. Like, are y'all silly? Are y'all dumb? Cam Newton described a wife. Hold on, the hawk. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Cam Newton described a wife. And y'all had a problem with what he said, which lets me know that you're not wifey material and you'll probably never become one. Not to a real, genuine, masculine, providing, protecting, no nonsense about his business on his purpose, man. It will never happen for you, ma'am. Cam Newton... Describe the basic needs of a wife. Emphasis on basic. It was not something that was over the top, extraordinary, extravagant, intricate, nothing about it. It was basic. And y'all, are in an uproar over this. this. This should not be fucking headlining news. Deshaun says, you should pull up Nicki Minaj's husband so they can see what their options might look like in the future. And it's not just how he looks and stuff like that. Like, looks can be deceiving, right? So it's, it's, it's not... Necessary to pull up her, Nicki Minaj's husband, what, and to look at him and to say, oh, that's this type of guy? I'm like, no. There's plenty of productive guys that may look like a Nicki Minaj husband. However, if you go in, if you want to go into, you know, his background, what he's into, what he does, what he's done, then it's like, okay, do you want that type of man for your life? To where you have to register in every state that you move to because she has this on his record. Do you want to be the the quote unquote breadwinner in your relationship and have your man 
take care you take care of your man or whatever the case is but because he's this goon he makes you feel safe or whatever the case is do you want that for your life do you want a baby daddy to everybody else's baby in addition to your your own do you want to share your man like that like all of those things matter And if you have no problem with that, continue on with this mentality. Continue on feeling like what Cam Newton said was an issue. But I'm telling y'all right now, Cam Newton said absolutely nothing the fuck wrong. And all he did, all he did, all he did was describe the basic qualities of the typical wife. That's it. This man said nothing out of the ordinary. As a wife myself, I have to know when the fuck to shut up. If my husband's having a bad day, shut the hell up. If my husband is trying to talk and tell me something, I need to shut the hell up and listen. Not over talk him and tell him what, what I think. And he hasn't even thoroughly articulated or explained what his perspective or point of view was, that's part of knowing when the fuck to shut up. Y'all think me and my husband don't have arguments? Let me tell you something we do. Every blue moon, we have a damn argument. Yes. Welcome to life, bitch. And guess what? I don't care how heated I am. If my husband is very heated and he tells me, shut up, guess what I do? Shut up. I sure the hell do. And definitely he's told me that. In the heat of an argument. But I'm still trying to tell him, well, well but, but I think this and I think that, but you, he told me, shut up, I'm not done talking. And I and I gotta shut up because he's not done talking. He damn the fuck right. He's not done talking. I may have missed something. See, by me not shutting up and listening to what my husband is saying, I'm I can very well misinterpret some bullshit and 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 start another unnecessary argument all because I didn't let him thoroughly get out what he was trying to convey. Now, had I known when the fuck to shut up. I could have avoided that. It's all about gaining an understanding. That's all Cam is saying, knowing when to shut up so that you, ma'am, can gain an understanding. But that's a problem. That's a problem. Sportsman, I'm just. And <sighs> Joseph, I blame Boosie and what? I N D E P E N D E N T. Do you know what that means? Basic shit. She got her own house. She got her own car. Basic shit. But a man can't tell you to do some basic shit without you getting in the uproar. Like, Know when to be quiet and let him lead. Oh, and cook food. But you a bad bitch because you got your own job and your own car. <laughs>